It's August 2020 and I've come to the Netherlands to explore a city and its canals. And I'm not even in Holland. Utrecht is located in the centre of the Netherlands, capital of the Utrecht province and the fourth largest city in the country. The centre of the city is marked out by a network of canals which form a focal point for numerous bars and restaurants located in the former wharf buildings. Naturally, there are lots of options for exploring the canals, including getting round under your own steam, but I decided to let a boat with an engine take the strain. Tours start by heading down the Aldegracht, or Old Canal, that runs right through the heart of the city and past many of the key sites. At the bottom of the Aldegracht, you meet the Stadsvierdegracht, which runs in a ring round the city, in part following the line of the former city fortifications. The old fortifications can still be seen in places by the canal. A large lock system exists at the southern end of the Vec River at a point where it meets both the Stadsvierdegracht and the Aldegracht. In the late 1960s, parts of the Stadsvierdegracht were, despite opposition, filled in and converted into a multi-lane highway through the city centre. However, in a reversal, at the turn of the millennium, the city started a 20-year process to restore the canal, and just a few weeks after I visited, the final link beyond this bridge where the tour turned back was reopened and the full circuit was restored. Being at the centre of the country puts Utrecht at the centre of a rail network, and so it's also home to the National Railway Museum, the Spoorweg Museum, housed in a restored 19th century station. Utrecht is the main religious centre in the country and the Donkirk of St Martin is the only pre-Reformation cathedral in the country. Its unique shape and detachment from the Domtoren is a result of the catastrophic collapse of the nave that joined the two buildings together in a storm in 1674. The tower is the tallest building in the city with a local convention being that no building should be built taller. And from its completion in 1382 until 1991, when the Deltspurt building opened in Rotterdam, it was the tallest building in the Netherlands. From the roof of the tower, there are excellent views across the city and the wider landscape, with both Amsterdam and Rotterdam being visible on the horizon on a good day.
Located 10 kilometers northwest of Utrecht is the Haar Castle. Originally built in the 14th century, the castle eventually fell into ruins before being restored at the end of the 19th century into a mix of medieval fairy tale castle and modern family friendly home. A self-guided tour takes you round just a fraction of the stunning rooms and a glimpse of a high life of the very top of Dutch society. Along with parts of the building, the grounds are also open and, on a warm day, make for a pleasant stroll. Utrecht Centraal is at the heart of the Dutch rail network, with frequent connections to most other Dutch cities and towns. There are very frequent trains to Amsterdam to connect with Eurostar, Thales and ICE trains to France, Belgium, Germany and the UK. And it's also just 30 minutes by a direct train to Amsterdam Schiphol Airport. Music 